hope you are all are doing well today, um, whatever day it is for you, whatever time of day it is for you. Um, <clears throat> so today, I'm actually going to offer you a slow burn class because personally, I just kind of need to find my roots, ground down, settle down. I feel like <clears throat> in the last few classes I've been doing, it's all really kind of high energy and I feel like I just really needed to release a lot of that energy that's kind of stored up being locked in the house and not really able to do all the things that we do. But I don't know about you, it seems like every day it's kind of different, right? Like all these emotions, these feelings, these thoughts. So one day it's like way up here, feeling good, energetic, positive attitude, and the next day it's just the opposite extreme, right? Grabbing the wine, <laughs> um, just feeling really down in the dumps, you know? So it's been this kind of roller coaster. So some days we just need to kind of <clears throat> calm down, root down, ground down. So that's what I'm offering today, just that opportunity to really slow things down. Um, so the oil that is diffusing for me today is called um, Stress Away. <clears throat> Pretty obvious reason I chose that. Um, but I'm just gonna share with you what's in it. If you have oils at home, they're kind of fun to add to your practice um, if you handle them okay. Uh, Stress Away is obviously relaxing and comforting. Um, and the, the mix, the oils that are in there are, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, Cop Copaiba. I'm not like the super like familiar with oils person. I just have some and um, they make me feel good <laughs> sometimes. So they're fun to use. But that copaiba, it comes from a Brazilian tree and it promotes a calm and peaceful environment, supports a healthy respiratory function. So it seems perfect for <clears throat> right now. And then there's some lime in there and that's just light and uplifting. It encourages feelings of positivity and it's gonna support your immune system. Again, perfect. Cedar wood, that is a very grounding aroma, um, which is what I'm aiming for today, grounding down, rooting in. Um, cedar wood also says it improves your cerebral activity, um, so good for the brain, relaxes the body, enhances concentration, decreases hyperactivity, reduces harmful stress, eases tension, and clears the mind. Perfect. Vanilla, one of my favorite um, scents. It says it can help with anxiety, and that strong aroma is known to have a direct impact on the nerves that induce calm and relieve stress. Um, again, not sure if I'm saying this one right. Aquatea, um, it's from an Ecuadorian tree, and that boosts your immune system, reduces headaches, stress, and anxiety. Perfect. Last one is lavender. And we all know lavender is really calming, um, relaxing, and soothing. It's just a nice, clean, fresh scent. So it's just kind of fun to add some oils to your practice. If you um, don't have any, no worries. If you don't have this exact oil, stress away. Just kind of finding some oils that um, go along with your goal of how you want to feel in your practice, or just how you want to feel in your day, right? It's nice to add those those scents um, to your to your air that you're breathing all day. Um, so anyway, stress away. That's what I'm using today. So if you want to add some oils, go for it. I did attach a playlist um, <clears throat> for this practice. Slow burn is just a nice, a nice calming yet challenging practice. And any background music will do, but I do have a nice um, playlist for you if you want to go along with me. I've got my, my AirPod in. Um, my water and my heat is going, so I think we're ready. So when you're ready, go ahead and join me. I'm going to start the playlist right now. We're going to start in a hero pose. So <clears throat> that is just a nice seated pose, bending the knees, sitting back to your heels. I'm going to use a pillow, because especially at the beginning of class, you want to be gentle on those knees. Maybe those legs are really tight. Maybe it's always tight for you. You want to protect those knees. A block would work or a pillow just to sit on to lift those hips up a little bit. So here we go. Starting that playlist. 
Find your feet. Close your eyes. Lift your spine. Gently tuck your chin just so you can create that length through the back of your neck. And start to notice the rhythm of your breath. Like I said, today we're getting past that ujjayi breathing and actually creating a nice deeper breath with that full yogi breath. So we start by inhaling fully through the nose and then exhaling completely emptying out. Sorry, I was having trouble with my playlist. Started it now. <clears throat> Maybe you take those hands and place them on the soles of the feet so you can kind of pull those shoulders down and back and open up the chest. So this beginning of class, I just want you to find your way into this body that you have with you today. Just like our emotions and our state of mind changes day by day, moment by moment. So do all those sensations in the body. Some days we feel tight, some days we feel energetic and loose before we even begin. So just notice. Sometimes it helps to take a few deep breaths in through the nose, filling up from low belly to chest, and then opening the mouth and just letting it go, just like a nice big sigh. start to feel that connection with your breath, seal the lips and allow your breath to come in and out through the nose. If sitting like this is uncomfortable for you, even with a pillow or a block under your bum, just find another seat. It's fine. Cross-legged or lotus, whatever works for you. On your next inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Fill up with breath. Lift your chin. Press your palms together. And as you exhale, hands to heart center, bring it in. Touch those thumbs right between the center of your chest, right in front of your heart. And then inhale, circle up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a few more rounds, just connecting breath and movement here. movement to match the rhythm of your breath. If those hands come to heart center a little early, just pause and finish the exhale. One more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time, inhale, reach. And exhale, take a side bend to the right. So just drop that right hand. Reach the left arm up and over to the right. So find that length first, and then find the bend. Inhale, rise up, press the palms, lift the gaze. Exhale, take that side bend to the left. We're in no hurry to get anywhere. So keep that breath long, full, slow and rhythmic, and just match this movement to it. We're really grounded here, so just go ahead and close the eyes. One more time to the left. 
And as you come back up through center, this time we're just gonna take a twist to the right. So take that right hand behind you. Left hand can come onto that left or right knee. And then get really tall with an inhale and exhale, twist deeper. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Come back through center, arms reach, find that length through your spine. And exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. One more time. Come back through center, reach your arms up one more time, fill up with breath. And as you exhale, let's bring those hands down in front of you. Find your way to tabletop pose. Go ahead and release your pillow or your block if you had one. And just start to move with cats and cows here. So inhaling, lifting the chin, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone. And exhale, tuck and round. Give yourself a few rounds of these. If you enjoy those wrist stretches, you can always turn your fingertips towards you and take some cats and cows as you get a little stretch through the wrists. If that feels good for you, go there. Maybe a few like that and a few with those fingertips forward. You can always circle those hips. Or look over one shoulder and then the other. Lots of options here. We're really just kind of warming up into that spine. So whatever feels right for you, maybe just staying with cats and cows. Give yourself just a few more rounds of breath. If kind of switching positions coming onto those hands and knees, gonna change the rhythm of your breath. Just find your way back to that slow, rhythmic, full yogi breath. Go ahead and tuck your toes when you're ready. We're gonna press back to that first Downward facing dog. So root down through your palms, kind of find pressure through that first finger and thumb, that L shape. Open up your fingers, maybe bend a knee and then the other. Just finding your way into that first down dog. Again, no rush to get anywhere today. Slowing things down, paying attention being really mindful of where we're at. Your breath is a really good tool to just continue to bring you back into the present moment. When you slow down the rhythm of your breath, it allows everything else to slow down, to calm down. Those inhales take in that good energy from the universe. And with the exhales, release that stress and tension. Let's just start to walk our feet to the front of the mat. Find that forward fold. Take an inhale, half lift. And then exhale, just fall in. This first time, let's take ragdoll pose, grab opposite elbows, and just allow yourself to sway. Release control here. Let gravity do the work. Don't worry about finding a deep stretch. Just kind of letting things go. Let your head be heavy. Let your jaw relax. On your next inhale, reach your hands behind your low back and pull your chest open, flatten out your back, look past the front of your mat. And as you exhale, soften the knees a little bit and just fold forward, chest towards your thighs and reach those hands away from your low back. So really nice shoulder stretch. You can keep a sway in there if that feels good. Or you can straighten the legs if you want to add in more of a leg stretch here as well. On your next inhale, soften the knees and slowly rise all the way up. That last thing to lift is your chin and then reach your arms up overhead. 
As you exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand. Feet can be hip distance apart. We're gonna take a side bend to the right, but we're gonna go all the way through, all the way down and around. And inhale back up through center. Exhale down and around to the left this time. So you're gonna feel it in your legs, your hips, your arms, your side body. Inhale, rise. Bend the elbows, open the chest, look up. And then swan dive down, forward fold. Take that half lift, look forward. Flatten out your back again. We're gonna keep that right foot planted and just step the left foot to the back of the mat. Find your lunge. Bring that left knee down and find crescent moon. So slide that left knee back a little bit if you need to. So you get that stretch through the hip flexor. Reach your arms up and back. Find that crescent shape with your body. Lift your chin. Eyes can still be closed if you want to today. Um, we're really grounded still. We're gonna stay fairly grounded at least through the first half of this class. On your next exhale, bring the hands down to the mat and send the hips back to seated half split. So don't go all the way back, just send the hips back, lengthen through the spine, find that hamstring stretch. Because with an inhale, we're gonna come right back to where we were into that crescent moon, arms reach, lunge into that front leg. Exhale, half seated splits, and inhale, crescent moon. One more time, exhale, hips send back, Inhale, crescent. From here, bring the hands down to the floor, tuck the toes, and lift up to dragonfly twist. Reach up through that right hand, strengthen the back leg, lift the hips a bit, really open up. On your exhale, bring the right hand down, look forward, step the left foot forward. Half lift. Fold in. So again, just kind of let it go for a moment. Taking this first round nice and slow. We're eventually going to move with our breath again. So half lift, lengthen. With an exhale, plant the hand, step the right foot back this time. Drop the knee and inhale, rise up, crescent moon. Make that shape with the body. Reach up and back. It's almost like you're reaching those fingertips to the wall behind you. On an exhale, half seated splits. Drop the hand, straighten out the front leg, send your heart forward. Inhale back to crescent moon. Reach up and back. Two more like that. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent. No rush, guys. Keep that breath slow and controlled. This time as you inhale to crescent moon, your exhale is gonna take you to dragonfly twist. Plant the hands, tuck the right toes, lift the knee and then reach up as you inhale with that left hand. Lift through the hips, strengthen the legs. Really open up with that twist. Exhale to this left side. We're going to plant the hands and just step the left foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We found our way back. Second down dog. Take a few rounds of breath. step or hop your feet forward. Half lift, inhale when you get there. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, bind the hands, pull the heart open, soften the knees, and exhale, fold, shoulder stretch. 
With the inhale, slowly rise up, reach up. And as you exhale, over to the right, down and around. Back up through center, take it to the left. Inhale, rise and reach, open the heart. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Right foot plant, step the left foot back. Crescent moon. Inhale, reach up and back. Three rounds. Exhale. Half split. Inhale, crescent. Find your breath. Move with it. Make that connection. Last round. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, make your way to drag and fly. Wait for the inhale to create that twist. Exhale, forward fold at the front of the mat. Half lift, fold in. Again, inhale, lift. Plant the hands, step the right foot back this time. Crescent moon to half seated split. Take your three rounds. After that third round, crescent moon to dragonfly. The exhale. Take your vinyasa with control. One more time through. Take a few breaths to reset. When you're ready, step or hop, half lift. Find the bind, flatten the back, fall in, shoulder stretch. Rise up, take those full circle side bends, right and left side. Dragonfly twist. Forward fold. Lengthen and take it on the other side. Crescent moon to half split. You got this. Dragonfly twist. Vinyasa. Catch your breath. Reset. Step or hop your feet to the front of your mat. Half lift when you get there. Fold back in. This time, bend the knees, sink the hips, raise the arms. Find that chair pose, guys. Utkatasana. Utkatasana. On your next exhale, hands to heart. 
We're going to take that prayer twist to the right. So hook your left elbow outside the right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Stay long through your spine. Deep twist. Knees stay in line with each other. Breathe here. Pull your belly in. Inhale back through center. Exhale, take that twist to the left. Inhale, center, chair pose, stay low. And then exhale, go lower, Arda, half chair. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up, reach back, open your heart, and then fall in, chest to thighs. Half lift, plant the hands, step back, plank pose, pause here. Again, taking this first round nice and slow, top of a push-up. With an inhale, side plank to the right. Right arm reaches. Maybe extend overhead. Exhale through center. Maybe a push up. Inhale, press up. Take side plank to the left. Exhale, center, chaturanga. To upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. Nice stretch here. Straighten your leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three leg. We've got three of these. Exhale, squeeze. Connect with breath again. Squeeze, last time. Inhale, extend. Step forward to your lunge. Drop your back heel, rise up. Warrior two. With an inhale, let's reverse your warrior. So turn the palm up, reach up and back. And exhale, side angle pose, any version. With the inhale, make it an extended side angle. That left arm reaches up or overhead. Shoulders and hips are stacked. Deep lunge in this front leg. Turn your gaze up. With an exhale, bring your hands down. Straighten your front leg. If you can, keep your feet where they are. We're going to revolve triangle. If you need to, set that back foot in a bit so you're more stable. But if you can, leave it back. But both legs want to be straight. So it's a good place for a block if you need it. And then exhale, look down. May you bring that right hand down. And as you inhale, rise up. Star pose. Adjust your feet. Arms to a T. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Send your heart forward. Bring your palms down. Lift halfway. And then fold in. Maybe grab opposite elbows. A little sway, a little dangle or just fall in. Kind of shift your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Press into the inside edges of your feet. Get the crown of your head closer to the floor. Bring the hands down, half lift. So making it a little more active this time, bind your big toes with your peace fingers. Lift halfway, flatten your back, and then pull yourself in Use the strength of your arms, splay your elbows out, reach the crown of your head to the floor. If you feel really far away, I love taking that block. So it's like, where exactly am I in this fold? Maybe feet just go a little wider, find the bind, find some space. Go ahead and release, half lift. All right, listen here. We're gonna walk our hands like a yogi walk to the front of the mat, but I want you to keep walking all the way through 180 degrees. See how my legs are crossed? Once you are facing the side edge of your mat, just bend the knees and sit down between your heels. So I'm not facing you, 
I'm just going to turn myself around so you can see me. I'm in that cow face pose or shoelace pose. Right knee on top of left. Take your arms to a T. Right knee's on top, so we're going to take that right arm under left arm. It's like a sitting eagle pose kind of. Palms press together. Lift the elbows. Press the hands away from you. Close your eyes. Soften through your hips. Feel that stretch through your shoulders. Soften the jaw. Just breathe here. Feeling a release in all those large joints where we tend to hold a lot of our stress. So breathe in that good energy. Exhale all that stress and tension from the body. One more deep breath in and out. I'm just gonna turn myself around how I would should be. I'm gonna release the arms to a T. So let those arms go, maybe shake your wrists. Plant your hands right in front of you. And you're just going to lean forward, lift your bum, and then start to press the soles of your feet into the floor and straighten your legs. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Step back and press up, downward facing dog. Whew, so you'll get another opportunity to smooth that out. We're gonna take the same thing on the left side, left leg lifts. Bend, twist, open. Straighten your leg and three rounds, knee to nose. Inhale as you extend, exhale, squeeze. Three-legged dog, step forward as you exhale, and inhale, rise, warrior two. Take an exhale here, sink deep into that lunge. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle pose. With the inhale, extend your side angle. Deepen your lunge, look up. With your next exhale, look down. Bring that right hand down, straighten that front leg. If you need to, shorten your stance or take a block. It can be as high as you need it to be. Reach up through your left hand and gaze up. Revolve triangle. Exhale, bring the hand down. And inhale, star pose. Exhale, fold forward. This time, bring your palms to the floor. Take your feet a little wider if you can. And reach the crown of the head down, maybe coming all the way to headstand, if it's available. Otherwise, just a few breaths to find more space. Go ahead and lift halfway. We're gonna walk the hands toward the front of the mat. The front of the mat, again, all the way around into that shoelace or cow face pose. If you can't find your way there, just come to seated and get there your own way. Take the arms to a T, this time left knee's on top. So left arm under right, wrap around. Lift the elbows, pull the hands away from your face and take a few breaths here. Stretch through those joints. Soften, breathe deeper. One more deep breath in and out. And then release. Bring the palms to the floor. Lean forward, lift your butt. And then just press into your feet, straighten the legs. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Step back and take a vinyasa. Nice job, you guys. Breathe in and out. One more time through. Let's move a little quicker this time. When you're ready, step or hop to the front. Half lift, fold in. Bend the knees, take the hips, raise the arms. Our breath stays long, slow and controlled. We're just moving with it this time. Exhale, prayer twist. 
Inhale, splay arms open or take an arm balance here. One more breath. Come back through center chair. Take it to the left. Take what you need. One more breath. Come back through center chair pose. Exhale, Arda. Inhale, standing back bend. And exhale, fold. Lift halfway. Plant the hands. Step back. Plank as you exhale. Inhale, side plank on the right. Extend. Exhale through center. Maybe a push up. And inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Take your vinyasa. Right away. With an inhale, lift the right leg. Bend, twist, open. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, three rounds. Knee to nose. Slow it down. Eventually find warrior two. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Exhale, sink deep into that lunge. Inhale, reverse. To side angle pose as you exhale. Exhale, revolve triangle, find your feet. Inhale, reach up through your right hand. Exhale through center. Inhale, rise, star pose. And exhale, fold forward. Half lift, and then go deeper. Maybe a headstand, take a few breaths here. Bring the feet down. Let's go ahead and walk the hands to the front of the mat, always. All the way around, 180 degrees. Right knee is on top of left. Take your arms to a T. Right arm under left, wrap it around. Lift the elbows, pull the hands away from your face. Three breaths here. Walk it forward, step back, down dog, left leg lifts, open the hip, straighten the leg, exhale, knee to nose, you've got three. Exhale, step forward, inhale, rise, warrior two, exhale, sink, inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, and then inhale, extend. Exhale, make your way to that revolved triangle as you inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale through center, inhale, rise, star pose. Just this time, bend the knees, sink the hips, Buddha squat, hold. Lift the heels if you can. Breathe here, find your balance, open your eyes. One more deep breath in and out. Sink a little lower. Inhale, star, exhale, fold. Half lift, fold in any version. Maybe you want a shoulder stretch or bind the toes or come to headstand. Three more rounds of breath. When you're ready, feet are on the floor, lift halfway. Walk to the front of your mat all the way through to that shoelace or cow face pose. Arms to a T, find the arms. Left under right. Three breaths here, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose. Pull that belly in.
Release the arms. Bring those hands down, lift the bum. And walk it forward. Take yourself through a vinyasa. Step, hop, or float through. Boat pose. Boat pose. Find your version. Squeeze your legs together. Point your toes. Reach your fingertips towards your toes. Keep your chest lifted. Hands can come down if you need them. Heels can even rest if you need to. Just find what activates your core here. When you need more, add more. If you can straighten your legs, straighten your legs. Soften your face, deepen your breath. That's your tool. Three more rounds of breath, guys. Find stillness. Breathe in the good energy. Release the bad with that breath. Let it go. Let the stress, the anxiety, let it go. Next, exhale, halfway down, half boat. Inhale, lift. Find your rhythm, exhale, lower. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, keep going. Slow and controlled, keep squeezing those inner thighs together. How about three more, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Remember, hands can come back. Last round. Inhale, boat. Hold. Adjust. Find those sit bones. Pull the shoulders down and back. Breathe. Halfway down and hold. Shoulders are lifted, fingertips reach for the toes, maybe point those feet, find that core. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold on to that breath. Lift up, boat pose, hold. Move with the breath, again, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, just three more. Lower and lift. With control, last one. Boat pose. Find your sit bones. Pull the shoulders down and back. Lift through the heart, breathe. Last time, halfway down. This is it, finish strong. Let it go. Bend your knees, plant your feet, and lift your hips. Let your arms just rest beside you. Pull your chin away from your chest. Maybe tuck your shoulders a bit, open your heart. Let go of your breath with that cleansing sigh if you need it. And then come back to that rhythmic breathing. Drop your hips. Take your feet to the wide edges of your mat. Arms to a T, let those knees drop right to left. All right, pull those knees toward the chest. Rock and roll. Oh, that feels good. Just a nice little spinal massage. Keep rocking and rolling. Take a few more. Downward facing dog. Step it through, float it through. Take a drink if you need it. If you're still with me guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. When you're ready, downward facing dog. Reset here, catch your breath. Lift your right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip, 
if it's available, flip your dog over. So I'm going to protect my shoulder as much as I want a back bend. I know that I need to stay up here. So if you can, flip it, but listen to your body. Do what you need. You can still get into that nice back bend, even just opening that hip. Back through center, right leg's high. Step forward. We're going to find warrior one. So drop your back heel. This time, both arms reach up overhead. We're going to slow down here. So, depending on what's available to you, how tight your shoulders are, I want you to take a shoulder stretch in this pose. So maybe you take reverse prayer. So palms come together behind your back. If this is really uncomfortable or feels actually impossible, you can always just clasp your hands behind you and pull your heart open and get a stretch this way. If you can though, take that reverse prayer. Lift your chin, lift your gaze, sink into your lunge, square your hips. Wherever you've taken that heart opener, keep your hands as they are. Start to drop your heart, drop your chest, put your weight into this front foot and lift off into warrior three or airplane pose. Now if you had reverse prayer and it's becoming too much as you switch postures, again, you can always switch just clasping those hands behind you. Just try to keep that heart opener in this posture as well. And breathe. Last three. Gently as you can. So put a soft bend into that front leg and gently drop the foot behind you. Straighten the leg, lift the heart, square the hips, look up. We're going to take pyramid pose. So bend, hinge from the hips, keeping that heart open and sending your chest toward your thigh. Drop your head, knee toward nose, nose toward knee. Keep the hands as they are. Or if it becomes too much as you switch positions, maybe just clasp the hands behind you. See where you can be. Three more breaths. Try to press those palms together and kind of reach them up toward your shoulder blades. From here, keeping the hands as they are if you can, Bend into that right knee again. Shift your weight into that right foot. Lift your left leg. Whoo, standing splits. That leg is hurting for certain, right? Be strong, you got this. We're not here all day. Just a few more breaths. If you need to release the hands, go ahead and do it. If you can keep them behind you, keep them behind you. Last inhale and exhale. And then step wide at the front of your mat. Sink into that yogi squat. Whew, get tall in your spine. Press the palms together. Let all that shit go. Breathe in that good energy. Release the stress, the anxiety, the judgment, the frustration. Let it go. Let it go all the way. We're going to take a vinyasa eventually. Maybe stay here for a few more breaths. Or find that arm balance. Find that crow pose. If you find a crow today and you feel strong, engage your core and send it back, chaturanga, to up dog, Woo, to downward facing dog. Good job, guys. Full yogi breath, lift the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip, 
or flip it over. What's available for you today? Come back to your center. Left leg is high. Step forward. Warrior one. We got this. So maybe take the same on this side, those prayer hands, or maybe something different. Maybe this time you clasp just to find something different, a different heart opener. I'm gonna stick with that reverse prayer because I know coming back to it, it's just gonna create more space and I could use it. Lift your chin, lunge a little deeper, lengthen and soften your breath. Look forward. Drop your chest. Shift your weight into that left foot. Lift off. Take flight. Warrior three. Anytime, guys, if this is too much, trying to keep that heart opener, that shoulder stretch, just release the hands. Take them wherever you need them to be. But I want you to challenge yourself today. Find something new. Last three breaths. With control, so bend the knee first, drop the foot. Straighten the leg, lift the heart, square the hips. We're taking that pyramid pose, hinge from the hips. Keep the roundness out of the back. And then pull those elbows toward each other, open your heart a little more. Press the palms together if you can. Last three. Pull that belly in and up. All right, standing splits. Make your way there. Bend the knee first so you can shift the weight. Ooh, that's a tough one. Lift that right leg high. If you need to release the hands to the floor, the ankle, go for it. Yogi squat. Ooh, at the front of the mat. Sink in, let go. Close your eyes, press your palms together. Get as tall as you can through your spine. Take an open twist to the right. And then take it to the left. center stay in this yogi squat take another arm balance or maybe an inversion so you choose today I'm gonna take a little basket headstand unfortunately I really don't have any walls to work with but if you have a wall close by and you want to do an inversion go ahead take yourself to the wall 10 rounds of breath so lots of time to move around and then find your way back to your mat Wherever you want to take this, maybe you're in crow again, maybe side crow, a different arm balance, headstand, handstand, shoulder stand, you choose. Just an opportunity to kind of change our perspective. Five more breaths. Control, gently find your way out wherever you are. And meet me in child's pose. Again, take time to breathe in the good and exhale the bad. Let it go. Awesome. 
Good job, you guys. Take a drink. If you have blocks, go ahead and grab them. You might want to use them. We are at Yen though, so you're in the clear. A little more, a little more work, but we're gonna start the stretching. So find your way to downward facing dog. We're just gonna step that right foot to the outside edge at the front of our mat. Drop the knee behind you, kind of slide it back. Maybe that right knee even drops out to the right side, opening it up this hip, this hip flexor. If you can come down onto your forearms, blocks are great for this, to bring that floor a little closer to you if you need it. But if you have the space, let's come all the way down. Breathe into the tightness. See if you can allow yourself to let something go. Soften your face, your shoulders. All right, go and press up through your palms. And we're gonna take splits here. So if you're like me and splits are feel miles away. You can take these blocks up on their highest level if you have blocks. And then just kind of work with where you're at. Find your version of splits. I'm pretty far away, but I'm just creating a little more space. Breathing into where I feel tightness, especially in that hip flexor. So if you're like, even that's too much or you don't have blocks, just come back to that seated half split, this time all the way down to your heel. Send your chest forward and just create that nice stretch through the hamstring and the back of the leg. Last couple breaths here. All right, let's just take those stretches on the other side. So just bringing yourself back to down dog. I'm getting ready to step that left foot forward, nice and wide. Drop the right knee, slide it back till you get the stretch you need. Again, you can always bring that block here, either level, to bring that floor just a little closer to you. And if you don't need it, bring the forearms down, soften where you can, let something go. That stress away smells really good. I smell that lime, the vanilla. Uplifting and grounding all at the same time. A little smile on your face. Press into the palms, lift the heart. It's going to be totally different on this side. So find your way to that full split. So I've got like a really pulled a hamstring. It feels like a year ago. Um, and I'm just not cooperating. So I think doing that is really more bad than good for me. I'm just going to come into that half split on this side and take a nice gentle stretch. So you listen to you. What does your body need? Maybe today's the day that you found a full split when you thought it wasn't possible. It's always so cool when that happens. A couple more breaths. Let's find a little more space wherever it is you are. Go ahead and come out of this. We're going to come back to that hero seat that we had at the beginning of class. So again, you, you probably feel a little more open up this time, so maybe you don't need the block or the pillow underneath you, or maybe you still do. 
So if you do, just place it back under you. If this is enough, then stay here. If you found more space, maybe you can even come down onto your forearms or all the way onto your back. If you're on your back and you still feel really good, reach your arms up overhead, deepen into it. Find what you need. Everyone is different. Gently find your way up and out, and just come to a nice seated pose with those legs long in front of you. Take your time though, kind of let your muscles reset, maybe shake it out a little bit. And we're going to take that right leg, we'll leave it long, the left foot comes inside the right thigh. So take your right hand, grab your left knee, cross it over, and then that left arm is going to reach up. We're gonna keep our shoulders stacked and our gaze lifted toward the ceiling. That left arm's gonna reach up and overhead. So we're kind of turning our chest up as much as we can. If you're really flexible, maybe this hand actually grabs onto those toes. If you're like me, you're just reaching in that direction and that's fine. All right, take it on the other side. Let the left leg go along, right foot comes in. Left hand's gonna grab that right knee. And the left arm is gonna reach up and overhead. Again, keeping those shoulders stacked. Really stretching through that side body. All right, rise up. And we're gonna come all the way onto our backs. Nice and slow. So opportunity here for that full wheel, if you wanna take it. Kind of walk your feet in closer to your hips. Bring those hands to the floor, fingertips, face your toes, elbows face the sky. Don't let them splay outward. Maybe this is as far as you go today. It's like, all right, this is one step in that direction, right? And maybe you've never even gone here. This is enough. Another next step to take this, to really press into the feet, press into the palms, and lift your hips as you come onto the crown of your head. You can stay here. If you feel good today, straighten the arms, press up, or just stay in the crown of your head. When you're ready, bring yourself back down. Some days it feels right, and some days we have to listen and back off. Some days it's too much. Bridge pose is always available. Go ahead and lower down when you're ready. Bring that right knee to chest, let the left leg go long, and just find a nice spinal twist here. through center, switch legs, take it to the other side, check in with your body, if there's anything else you need, give yourself that last pose. Maybe it's happy baby or plow or shoulder stand. Maybe you want another boat. <laughs> I doubt it. All right, guys. When you're ready, 
final surrender. Ground down, let it all go. Take a deep breath in, fill up with all that awesome energy. And then let it all go. Imagine all that stress, anxiety, frustration, just releases from the body, from the mind, from the soul. This grounding practice today to come to this final surrender, just kind of imagine yourself rooting into the ground like a tree, like actual roots growing down toward the earth. And every exhale you take, just imagine all that stress and anxiety is just flushing down through those roots releasing away from your body. Let it go. Found your way back to your natural breath and just noticing the changes. When we're still and calm is when we find the most inspiration. to just listen as answers tend to come to us. Gently come back to your awareness, back to your senses. Add some movement with fingers and toes and wrists and ankles. Turning your head from side to side. Deep in the breath. Open the eyes. And then just gently find your way to a seated pose, whatever works for you. Bringing the hands to heart center, bowing the head, closing the eyes, soaking in the gratitude for this practice. For these healthy bodies that are capable of so many things. Light in me honors and bows to that same light that shines in each of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your week. Namaste. Till next time.